here is a 2007 Land Rover Range Rover L322 this is a full size supercharged version now the issue I was having with this vehicle is is randomly not wanting to start it wouldn't crank it wouldn't start uh, all the lights would work normally all the interior lights would come on and work normally but it just wouldn't crank it would not start and it would kind of randomly do it whenever if you let it sit for a few hours you drove it to work or you went to a grocery store you came back out and then it just wouldn't start so here's a couple things I tried I was thinking maybe it could be the ignition issues that these things are uh, known for um, so I tried you know going through the glove box and disconnecting the fuse for the ignition and then reconnecting it to see if it would reset it it just it, it still would have the same issue the key would turn but it wouldn't crank there would be no clicks at the starters nothing all your dash lights would come on normally your interior lights would work normally uh, but it still wouldn't start uh, but after a few tries waiting 10-15 minutes sometimes it would start uh, on a couple occasions I was able to jump it and get it going the original battery in this was about about three and a half four years old um, so I decided uh, maybe that's the issue so I had the battery tested and the alternator tested and that would all check out fine also so the battery would pass the load test uh, and everything but I still kept, kept having the same random no start issue so what I decided to do was change the battery this is something I had laying around it was actually for a different project um, so I went ahead and changed it and that was about about four four and a half months ago and since then I have not had that issue um, so what that leads me to think is a cell in the battery will go bad and that'll cause it not to have enough voltage at the starting and it just doesn't let the ignition system work or come on and so it wouldn't crank it wouldn't click it wouldn't do anything like I said once I changed that battery that's been been about four months now and I haven't had that issue so if somebody's having that same issue to where you know vehicles not starting or you having to jump start it and that wouldn't work every time for me either uh, you might want to change that battery and see if that takes care of your issue thank you for watching